pilots in your airplane. Okay, here we go for practice, Reno 2023. I've still got my power kind of turned down a little bit. What I really want to work on today is just my flying, doing a good hard slip. So much fun to do anyway. Now there's a lot of little details about the flying. Just got to get it all right, all the timing, start, when to pull the power. So I think that's what makes it so fun. It's not just like a real super easy thing to get right. <laughs> it was like, whoa! I changed things up just a little bit. No. And I don't think it's a bad thing, but I don't have it down. So for right now, it probably is a bad thing. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I will. Oh man, we're coming in to land and it's like, woo! <laughs> it was squirrely. Just like right now, we just got hit right there. Yeah. That's what it was like. We we're just flying along and all of a sudden it's like, you just lost a lot of control, you know. Or what right. happened down here? Oh, I missed filming it, but he. Yeah.
flying that airplane up around the skies, even though the airplane, the aisles give him a bad time. That airplane's air conditioned, so you That's such a bummer. He hard. almost, almost like saved it. It was a dust devil on the turnaround. It's like right there. Yep. Yep. One of those deals. We got tumbleweeds, dust devils. Get them in the pits? Yeah. Okay. Who do you think is going to be the top three here at Reno? I think the top three, well, so far, it's not a matter of opinion. The top three are, are us, Tim Shellhorn, and Eddie Sanchez. So Tim Shellhorn and his very custom carbon cub, which I just think is so cool that he's serious about it too, and built a real race plane. And then Eddie's Highlander with the three-cylinder Yamaha, very, very similar to what I have, and he's going fast. It's really fun having my wife Kathy here at this event. She doesn't come to a lot of them, but she comes to certain ones, and this one here being the final Reno, yeah, she's here and we're glad. Josh didn't make it this time because his back's hurting too bad, but so we missed Josh, but we're sure happy having Kathy here. This, this means a lot. This is really cool. This is the winner's wall at the Reno Air Races, and here we are because we won it last year. There you are, and then Justin over here, our friend. Yeah, Justin Meters. I don't know all these guys. Very, very cool. <laughs> One of the things, one of the main things that makes us so competitive at this stole drag racing, as well as traditional stole, is flying a Wild West aircraft, just aircraft Highlander, with the Wild West aircraft modifications that just make them work so well. And we sell these. That's that's what we're in is the business of uh, selling these kits. So if you want something really competitive and really fun, that's and not just for racing either, but for going camping, hunting, fishing, whatever, just a great backcountry airplane, get a hold of us about these Highlanders and we'll be happy to help you.
That was 51 seconds, Steve. I knew that was fast. That was probably the fastest I've ever seen you turn around and run. Yeah, me too. That was awesome. That was fun. We were all saying, holy cow, it's the fastest we've ever seen you go. That might be a new record. I thought I was slow for some reason. I guess I'd explain it. Cool. Sounds like that was a fast run. It felt good. Stopped the throttle and started slowing down a little bit earlier, going that direction. And that that really helped, because the time before, I went across the line too fast, too high. I don't, it was still probably okay time, but that one was really good. And I pulled the power, exact same time I've been pulling it coming this way. Worked out really good. I actually got really slowed down before I touched down. I don't know that I'll ever get it perfect, but that was a really good run. I'm happy with that. Cleared up course, timers are ready. Eddie Sanchez, you ready? Steve Henry, you ready? I'm the Three, four, three, four, three, four, died. I don't know what's going on. Starting to run funny. Dad's not going anywhere. He's getting towed off. So this isn't good. That's kind of sad. Yeah, sad. Something broke. Something got broke. He's on the line with Glenn Hall from Hypersports, his engine tuner, and we're gonna get it figured out. Glenn, if it wasn't for you, I'd probably just be out right now. Oh yeah, he'd be done. <laughs> Man, I hope not. We don't quite have enough runs in yet. We have our eight runs. Why did it do it when you let off? It's a gearbox problem at this point. There's, there's a puddle of oil here. It's just running out of it. it. It did. We got it narrowed down. It did turn out. It definitely was a gearbox. But we, I was really, really working that gearbox. Um, we were pushing about 400 horsepower. And uh, I was using launch control. What launch control does is I push the button, go full throttle, and it limits the RPM by... Uh, retarding the timing when I let off the button the timing's back and at that point it's all boosted it's got the fuel the boost is there so it just like explodes off the line so I mean we're really working it and that's part of experimental that's part of racing that's part of advancing things trying new things Video. So we're in front of the whole entire crowd. Hopefully they don't know it's because we're broke down. <laughs> it's a parade lap. Yeah, I guess there is that. So he's
Ellie's been working on it all day. It's, I don't know what time it is, almost dark. Show's over. Well, we've had a very interesting day. What happened is we had a problem with our gearbox. And I should have had a spare gearbox in my trailer. I didn't bring a gearbox, but Brian Dacus, right here on the field, had had one. And he, man, what a good guy. He, he has just helped me out so much today. And Teal Jenkins, you know, he's the guy that makes the gearboxes and his, his expertise. But yeah, Brian, I owe Brian. Um, but anyhow, we got it all back together and we're ready to go tomorrow. Yeah, it's good to go. I can email it, but I get on my laptop and um, hang on to grab my book. Good morning. <laughs> I'm just I'm just super excited that I get to come and race stole drag here at Reno again today. I had a gearbox problem yesterday, so you know I could have been out of it. But I'm not. With good help, especially from Brian Dacus. We're back in it. Alright boys, we're cleared down and we are cleared up. Timers, are you ready? Eddie, are you ready? Steve, are you ready? On the arm drop. Three, two, one, three. I like seeing that. Good job, clear to taxi. Steve, follow Eddie. Eddie, you are literally a second and a half, man. I know you got it. You got some competition, Steve. Good job, Eddie. That was fun. That was awesome. It's, it ran good. I was turned down a little bit on four. I could have been out of it and been like third place, fourth place, you know, without one run counting. So, with Brian's help and Teal, especially Brian Dacus, he really, man, he helped us out a lot. So here we are. And I mean, of course, we worked really hard to get here too, but we were just so close to not finishing it out with that problem. Yeah, yeah, artist. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. It's 
Oh, okay. Jones, you gave me all kinds of great stuff. Okay. We have an unofficial Stoll Drag National Champion. Of course, you guys all know Steve is like world champion like five times over. Oh, Fastest right, man in the world racing Stoll Drag. This is all made out of aircraft parts. And these oh, guys wow. made you this really cool, pull the cord out. It's a bottle of bourbon whiskey. You can hold that, it says 2003 National Champion. This bottle of whiskey is, that's yours, buddy. Cool. If you don't drink whiskey, I'll drink it for you. Congratulations. You got more stuff coming. It is you, man. Oh, Oh, honey. Look at that guy. You're so cute. Oh, you're so cute.